Good evening. It's Wednesday, July 17, 2019, here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lip, and here's all you need to know in Newsbits tonight. Lapu Lapu City Mayor Junard Ahong Chan has opposed the operation of the modern e jeepneys in his city. He says he will send a letter to the Central Office of the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board to explain his stand. Here's Romain Rivera for the details. Lapu Lapu City Mayor Junard Ahong Chan has opposed the operation of electronic jeepneys in the city, saying these vehicles are not applicable to Lapu Lapu as they will only worsen the traffic congestion. Chan said he will send a letter to the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board or LTFRB Central Visayas to raise his concern. Chan also wants the LTFRB to clarify and specify the jeepney route so as not to affect the tricycle and multicab drivers who have been sending their complaints to the Lapu-Lapu City Mayor. 75 e-jeeps are expected to arrive in Lapu-Lapu City as part of the Department of Transportation Modernization Program. But Chan said it would be better if these e-jeeps will be designated around the Philippine Economic Zone Authority or PESA, which includes the MEPS 1, 2, and 3. The United Drivers Operators Transport Cooperative, which is in charge of managing e-jeep units, said it is only following the government's modernization program. Malvin Arias, chairman of UDOTC, said tricycle drivers are also the current drivers of e-jeep. Romain Rivera, Newsbits Tonight. The former chief of the Criminal Investigation and Detection Group in Central Visayas has denied reports that it cleared former Danbantayan Mayor Vicente Loot of involvement in the illegal drug trade. Here's Nico Tubo for the details. The former Chief of Criminal Investigation and Detection Group in Central Visayas has denied reports that it cleared former Daan Bantayan Mayor Vicente Loot from involvement in the illegal drug trade. Police Colonel Marlon Tayaba said they did not release an investigation report during his stint as Chief of the CIDG Central Visayas. Tayaba was alarmed after reports said Loot attached a document to his letter to the National Bureau of Investigation asking for an independent investigation. The current Iloilo Provincial Director clarified that he never cleared Loot, adding that the media did not get his side regarding their investigation on the former Daan Bantayan mayor. Loot has been denying allegation on his alleged involvement in the illegal drug trade in the Visayas region. In 2016, Duterte named Loot as a drug protector, but the retired police general has repeatedly denied his involvement in the illegal drug trade. Last year, Loot and his family survived an ambush at the port of Barangay Maya in Daan Bantayan. Since the incident, Loot has never been seen in public. Nico Tubo, Newsbits Tonight. More stories in Newsbits Tonight after this short break. The City of Talisay Traffic Operations Development Authority is eyeing the regulation of the operations of the Habal Habal or Motorcycle for Hire Drivers in the city. Here's Kenneth Torres for the details. After the implementation of No Helmet, No Driving policy, the city government of Talisay is eyeing to regulate Habal Habal drivers. This was revealed by City of Talisay Traffic Operations Development Authority, Chief Joy Tumulak. To be officially recognized, Habal Habal driver must have a driver's license, registered motorcycle unit, extra helmet, and the number of passengers will also be limited. Tumulak said they will implement a color coding system to easily identify Habal Habal drivers. Authorities also see this as a way to immediately identify motorcycles used for crime. The city Toda chief said he will meet with barangay captains in the city who will organize the Habal Habal drivers. Habal Habal is still an illegal mode of transportation pending the approval of Congress. But Tumulak said this has been among the first ways of transport in the city. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight.
Here's the latest in sports with Nico Tubo. British professional boxer Amir Khan is leaning toward the victory of Filipino boxing icon Manny Pacquiao in his fight against American boxer Keith Thurman on July 21 at the MGM Grand Garden in Las Vegas. Khan said he is leaning more toward Pacquiao because the fighting senator has defeated a lot of strong opponents. Khan has never met Pacquiao inside the ring, prompting the British boxer to ask for a boxing showdown with the 8th division world champion if he gets to defeat Thurman. Khan said he already got the speed and movement of Pacquiao since he was once the Filipino champ's sparring partner. Khan said Pacquiao should be vigilant with Thurman's power and strength in the boxing ring. Nico Tubo, News Bits Tonight. Here's the weather update from Kenneth Torres. Residents of Metro Cebu are expected to experience sunny and partly cloudy weather conditions tomorrow as Tropical Storm Falcon moves away from the country, according to Pag-asa. But Pag-asa, or the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, has spotted a low-pressure area off Sinait in Ilocos Sur. It has not announced yet whether this will directly affect the country or not. expected na. Kuana o sana na sa ugma, partly cloudy o to cloudy kuana, uh, isolated mga rain showers kay ugma mapalayo na ang bagyo. Unya na atay low pressure area dre dapit sa west portion sa northern Luzon. Yung mamaupo na siya magda o hatak noon palayo. O tapos unang mga pagulan isolated. Mm. Uh, hangton na na uh, for the next 3 to 4 days. Kuan ang kana mga gagmay sakay sakayan oh. adil na sa agyodron abuto na to ni ta kuan sa biernes mas safe na sa biernes kay 20 to 30 kilometers per hour na tong expected nga hangin nya slight to moderate na ang kadagatan mm. the weather bureau has also not issued a gale warning but it advised the fisher folk and those with small sea crafts not to venture out in the seaboards of Luzon as well as western and eastern seaboard of Visayas saying sea travel might be risky. Pag-asa said that as of 4 p.m. today, Tropical Storm Falcon has maintained its strength with a center winds of up to 65 kilometers per hour and gusts of up to 80 kilometers per hour. Pag-asa advised the public to continue monitoring its weather updates. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lip. Good evening.